around the world. Wow, we have a whole lot of headroom. Can I move it down? You can do whatever you want. Boop. Well, I'm kind of sitting in a weird position anyway. Ooh, that's too much. Too much. Too much, people. Too much. I'm going to shut our door. Bonjours. Bonjour, wee wee. Oh, wee wee. Pee pee, wee wee. Um, wow, that's an old video. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hey, Mel. How's it going? Hello, Mel. Um, I know. I need to open my... I need to redo my open because he here's the deal. Okay, first, I've got to pull this up so we can see viewer comments. Shawnee Badani likes viewer comments. CCC. C, C. C, C, your... Okay. Oh, that's tiny. No, it's not. I can read it, Sean. Don't you worry. Well, I want to be able to read it, too. Not like that. <laughs> All right, there you go. So, unfortunately, we might be looking... Oh, wait, I have an idea. Un momento, por favor. I don't know what we're doing. Hi, uh, let's see what we got. Sean, just me. I got you. Don't worry, Charlie. Barbara, Sharon. Angela Sharon, Miss Taka. Trudy Barb, Angela Janice, Desiree Holly, Wild Iris, Mary Jill, Mary Ann. Susie Q. Susie Q. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm getting it for Shawnee, viewable for Shawnee McCoy. Shawnee McCoy in the house. That's you, Sean. Viewable for me? Yeah. So this way, do you want it up more or is that good? This one. Why don't you looking like you're looking down? No, it's just going to be part of it. What's this? Okay. Hey, everybody. I don't know, no. All right. I don't know, Mel. We didn't, we'll find out in a minute. Sean's going to be drinking salt and mocha. These are in um, Walmart and they're, some of them are good. They have a peppermint mocha wine, but some are not so good. Yeah. I guess we could just go. Oh, you can't make them go away, can you? What? The comments on the phone. Why would you want your comments away? But yeah. I've seen down here. Oh, maybe you can't. It's not like Facebook. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Well, it's just, we're going to have to do that, Sean. Okay. All right, guys. So. I am so excited to be here. If you have not been following us this week, this has been here. You can scoot over a little bit, Shawnee oh, McCoy. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, this, I'm going to shut this door. You were supposed to do that earlier. Well, but then I had to go in, Sean. Oh, no, that's true. So this has been a truck tour week. We it have was. made a ton of truck tour projects. We had so much fun. So today we're opening viewer mail and we're just having fun with you all and just chatting and stuff like that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Down below there's not too many links. I do recommend checking out Cricut sales. Uh, this is like the last day you can actually order and get stuff from Cricut. So if you need to get a Cricut something or other, today is the day. So if you get, get are going to buy Kenny something for Cricut, today is last day. Cricut? So Cricut is a company, and yes, they make cutting machines. I know you have all this Cricut, but I wouldn't even know what to get them. And then he, my favorite is when so when he goes. So, anyways, yeah. buy stuff at Cricut. I'm um, super excited to be back uh, today. We're just chatting viewer mail. Um, I love the fact when Sean and we're gonna talk about Christmas shopping because I'm all done. Him not so much. Um, and oh, what's funny is Sean's like, so. Uh, What's your username and password on Lego? Not that I'm buying you anything from Lego, and I'm not saying that I'm gonna get anything, but if I was to get something, like... But if I have to buy Lego, I have to go through your thing, or else you don't get your points. I need my points. Need points. So it's so funny, he tries to hide stuff, but he's not very well. So this week, I work from home, guys. So, hello, doorbell rings, dogs bark, we all run upstairs, and... Jasmine goes, what is it? And I said, looks like Sean bought me something at Blitzy because Blitzy puts tape all over the boxes that says it's Blitzy. Like, it's like you can't put a uh, put something on there and say, this is a gift. Do not do not say where you're from. And so I said, Sean, you got a job. You got a <laughs> this is literally what he said. I said, Sean, you got a box from Blitzy. Don't open it. Don't open no it. crap. I mean, I didn't order anything on Blitzy. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you drop? There is a ghost in our house. We have to burn this place down and move. Oh my God. What was that? Did you not hear that? It was a ghost. <laughs> burn it down. Oh no. What? Oh, Betty White jumped. Oh. I got you, Betty. Don't worry, yeah, I saved you. Okay, Betty, there you go. Okay. So Christmas shopping is for me going well um here's the deal christmas shopping is easy for me because throughout the year 
Sean will lay little hints of things he wants or stuff he wants, and I pay attention and I make either mental notes. I'm just really good at remembering. He's very good. And so there's times where he'll open some Christmas and he'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I can literally tell him today what he's getting, and by Christmas he'll forget what he's getting. And then me, so what ends up happening, he doesn't give me a list, nothing, and I just go out and buy it. And this guy, if I give him a list, he just buys everything on the list. So I can't do that. But then he goes into stress mode. When Sean goes into stress mode, he literally buys things that he kind of wants, but he thinks that I might always. also want. Then when he opens it, he's like, I got you this bow speaker. I've been looking at it for months. It's what, and you can tell he really wants it. I'm like, so is this my gift or your gift? It's kind of both of our gifts. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to deal with. But, but not here's the deal. Number one, Christmas morning, I wake up next to him. So that is the best gift of all. The best. Uh, Christmas gift number two, I get to control him the rest of the year. That's another great gift. Yep. And Christmas three, and he doesn't even know this. Are you ready? Or do you want to wait till Christmas to hear my surprise? I don't want to know any surprises. I, really, I already got one, so. This isn't know. a Christmas surprise, but I just announced, I don't even know if I'm supposed to announce it, but. Do I know this? Nope. Oh, crap. On leader, you know how we're going to Chalk Tour Leadership? Yeah. We're going to be leaving with what? A new catalog. A new catalog. Goodies. Probably. Probably, yeah. Jessica Douglas Wilson. Is she coming up with us? Yeah! What? So Jessica's going to Creativation with us. And I asked her today, I was like, between leadership and Creativation, it's four days. Right. And I was like, it would be so cool if you just came up to Spokane and hung out with us four days. And she's like, okay. And I was like, ha ha ha. Just, and she's like, no, I haven't bought my plane tickets. If you have a place for me to crash, I will. So she's gonna be sitting here for four days. Yay. So my Christmas just got better. Yay. So anyways, um, Sean always does a good job. We always have a great Christmas. And for me, Christmas is all about giving gifts. I love the giving part of Christmas. We're blessed. Even if I didn't get anything on Christmas, we're blessed beyond belief. And at the end of the day, if I want something, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, guys, so. Now we have to do the same thing. We need to go to her house. We do, we need to. Well, my were there, we also have to go see um, Ryan and... Yes, we do. All right. So I kind of already showed some of this stuff earlier and then I stopped, but we'll go through it all. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone that sends us viewer mail. Um, we do get viewer mail. I usually open it up once a month instead of doing it every week. So if you've sent something and we haven't shown it, it's not that we aren't going to show it or we're not appreciative, but I want to show it on air. If you took the time to make something, I want to show it off to everyone and you know, read it in front of everyone because it's very, very important. Yes, it is. Yes. So first and foremost, I got a package and it came with this note and I'll read it really quick and I'll show you the stuff. Um, and you might've already heard this because I did another video, but it says, hey, Ken and Sean, and she spelled your name right. Thank you. I have to say that you guys are just the coolest. I enjoy watching your videos and you always put a smile on my face. I own Pink in Maine and wanted to send you a free goodies to try out if you want. I'm including our November 20th release along with one of our paper pads and a set of our surface inks, which are the same formula as Brutus Monroe. Oh. We have our own exclusive colors. I would love to see what you create with some of these items. We are on share, so if you're interested in that, and if you'd like to have a coupon code for your viewers, so I need to reach out to her. And she sent me some great stuff. Now, I saw them at last year's Creativation, and I love any small businesses, um, and I just like sharing stuff. So I'm excited because usually I'm reaching out to companies and yeah. she reached out, I got it. So she sent me, so sweet, and her stuff's really cute, you guys. We definitely need to support her. She sent me this, Sean can show it off. That one is called Beach Bum. It's a cute little set. Oh, it's double-sided. 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 So, um, and it looks like, um, just like she had said, she has her own colors in Brutus Monroe inks, which are called surface inks. Let's show you the colors. I really like some of those really tight, uh, like the little tiny dots. That's kind of cool. Some big dots, some chevrons. Yeah. Lines, so then ink dots. colors. So she sent us a color. Oh, so they don't they repeat a couple times. Okay, perfect. So this is Salon. Salon. This is called The Park. I'm doing color swatches for you guys so you'll be able to see them when I'm all done. turn the camera over so that everything... Like, I they, know. They see it straight though, don't they? Size scrape. Mm -hmm. This one is called Stop Sign. Ooh, these colors are nice and bright. Street light. 
I love bright colors, you guys. Bright colors are my jam. What is this? Oh, construction. Oh, this is cute. Everything is like, because she's pink and mane, it's like everything you would see on a street. I get it. Isn't that cute? What a cute idea. Construction. Barber shop. Rose Garden. Oh my gosh, these colors, you guys. Riverwalk. Nice. And then the last is Asphalt. So. Yes, Christine, great for masculine cards. Wow, look at that. Look at these colors. Wow, those are nice. So I'm going to reach out to her after I do this video and get my um, affiliate link and everything so you guys can shop. And I'll get a coupon code so you guys can save money. But I love the bright, bright colors. Those colors. Oh man, I'm gonna be using those a lot. Those now she also sent us some stamp sets and some other stuff, so let's take a peek here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at her dyes are hot pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is called Wild Thing. So it's got a whole bunch of obviously zoo themes. No lion, you're amazing. No map needed, my heart knows the way to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry I was snappy, that's cute. Best wishes from all of us. So Sean can show that off and then she gave us the dies. So you guys, I will definitely be reaching out to her because these are cool. We definitely got to 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 support this, this company and all. So this one is called Timber. I can already tell you I love this stamp set. It's very masculine. I bird, it's your birthday. You know, it's, that's just the dies. I bird, it's your birthday. I've fallen for you. Timber. <laughs> I would love to see you soon and happy birthday. And look at it, it's all like, Outdoor and then once again, dies. Look at this one, so cute. Oh, listen to this. So on the back of our stamps, listen, living the creative life. Thank you for choosing our stamps. When you purchase from Pink and Maine, you're also helping an association that is close to my heart. A portion of my profits each year will go to the MDA, who has helped me, my family, and countless others. I was born with a form of muscular dystrophy, but it has never kept me from pursuing my dreams. Oh, Thank okay. you for supporting my business, Michelle, owner, keeping the creative life. That yes. is amazing. Love it. That is awesome. I, Michelle, I don't know if you'll watch this. I will definitely reach out to you, but that is amazing yes. um this one is called happy camper and this you guys is adorable happy trails you make me so happy camper i love you some more repping it i'm here for you once again she gave me the dyes to go with it trunk can show you up close i love that her dyes are this bright pink it's just so gorgeous here you go that's stitched rectangles. Oh, nice. And she also gave me herringbone stencil. Hey. So you guys, I will definitely get a code. Thank you so much for sending that out to us. I will get a code and get you guys links and we'll do a big project around it, make a card and um, get you guys some good stamps because those are awesome. Um, so we definitely want to support them. Those colors are gorgeous. All right, so I have a lot of cards to share. Um, and then a couple gifts and stuff. I might have shared a couple of these. I'm not sure. This one here is from um, Jeannie. Jeannie is my friend from Cricket. I met her this summer. Oh, I loved her. She got on stage. I tell you, I did not plant that comment. But they brought her up on stage and they said, tell us how you love Cricket. And she's like, I didn't even know what Cricket was. Then a month ago, I fell in love with Ken Hess and his videos. And every, I think she was like, did you pay her to say that? And I was like, no, like I didn't. <laughs> but she wrote... Dear Ken, happy belated birthday. I meant to make and send you this card sooner, but work has been crazy. I hope your day was as special as you are. It was so great to meet you in person in Utah. Thank you for all the laughs and entertainment you and Sean bring into your videos. You always make my life a little bit funnier and your videos help me forget about all the stress of my life. I need the mental break, even if it is just for a few minutes. Sending hugs and kisses, Jeannie. And then she has a little pull here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and then it says something on the pole. What does it say? Oh, I can't see it. It's a, <laughs> it says, happy birthday. Happy birthday. How cute is that? Thank you, Jeannie. Look at the, uh, that must have been done by the machine. It was, yeah. She had the machine right that and the gold glitter pen. So cute. 
I love it. And then you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ton of glitter going on. I bet you she used either Spectrum Noir glitter pens. So cool. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And then I got a beautiful card um, from April Davis. Look at this. For Thanksgiving. We had kind of a similar one made. Though, kind right? of, yeah, a few years ago. It just says, Happy Thanksgiving. Thankful for both of you and Sean, or all, both of you and all you do. Love, April Davis. You know those fonts. Sorry if you hear a dog uh, literally mm -hmm. clawing at a, a food bowl. He's doing that. I don't know why he does that once it's done. I don't know who does it. Who is it? Right. Food is not going to magically appear in that bowl. <laughs> My goodness. All right, guys. So this is from uh, Australia. Allison Hill. Oh, I think it says Hill, right? Yeah. Okay. It says, Dear Ken and Sean, Happy Halloween. Love your videos and inspiration. This card was inspired by Trick or Treat. Your stamp lipstick with legs video. Keep them coming. So we did a stamp lipstick video with uh, little witch's legs um, and a little skirt on it. And so she made one inspired by it. And look at it. A, a wee, wee bit, bit wicked. wicked. Isn't that great? Here you go. I need to read them. Uh, we have golden retriever puppies. Well, not puppies. Yes. All right. So this one is from Trudy. Oh, here you um, go, Trudy. It is a great card. Yeah. And I'll show you the front. It's got all these hearts on it. And it's got two boys. And they have a little heart around them. So I just love that. And it says... On your engagement, so happy for you. May all your dreams come true. May the gift of love forever be yours to share. Wishing you the best. It's a lot of hard work, but oh, so worth it. Love you, bunches, Trudy, and then in parentheses, Newman. Then on the back, it says, hoping that you guys are coming to the Brutus Monroe party. We're not. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was just there. It's on my birthday this year, and I want to meet you in a person. I adore Ken from the car and Sean from wherever. <laughs> Much love. One of your mini YouTube family members. Trudy, that is so, yeah, so fun. cute. I'm Thanks so sorry Trudy. we didn't make it to Brutus Monroe. We've had so many trips this year, um, and Sean couldn't... Uh, yeah, I don't get that much. <laughs> ...make it, unfortunately. Oh, but it looked like he had an amazing party. Yeah. All right. Next up, um, this one just says, To Ken and Sean. And it says, Dear Ken and Sean, keep in mind... Um, uh, this is in redone writing. Here oh. <laughs> is the redone item I bought for you. This is a gift from me to both of you for the inspiration and laughs you share with me and so many more. I also included a quick project I made. Enjoy and keep people happy, Debbie. And she actually sent me a tumbler redone that I drink out of to this day. Look at that card. And so That's this, so look at that bright, bright stamping. And then she embossed the back with uh, Swiss dots. Nice. Very cool, huh? Got it. So, um, as you guys know, I do Chocotour, and I'm a leader of Chocotour, and one of my leaders, Victoria, had came um, and did a show here with me in Spokane, and she um, sent me a card to thank me. It says, from one bad ass to another, because it's got a donkey, and then she wrote, Ken and Sean, thanks again for letting me stay with you, working the event with me, and just being great leaders and supportive friends. I will be couturiers someday, and I hope you relax and enjoy the cruise. And she did. She made a couturier in October. Yeah, Her and Mel made it in the same month. Yeah. So look at how fun that is. So that was super nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a oh, that's Oh. So this is wow, from my good friend. I don't know if I've seen her in here. Is Jamie? Have you seen Jamie's name go by? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. So you guys should see Jamie in my videos. I believe she's in a lot of Mills videos. Her little logo is a panda. It's like a purple panda. Mm -hmm. And um, she had told me she was gonna. She had made a card, and I did a video on um, visual image. Uh, on their Alice in Wonderland release, and then also on um, uh, this. What did what is this called? This is called the uh, Yupo paper with alcohol ink. Yeah, yeah. Yupo. And so she oh, made me a card. Okay. It says Merry Christmas, and I'll read it here. 
I don't think she's in here, but it says, I take this Christmas as an opportunity to remind you both how much you mean to me. I can't even think what would I ever do without you both. May this Christmas season bring you closer to all those that treasure you in your hearts. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Jamie. And look at this card, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Looking? Look at that card. Look at her background. She did foiling on that. She colored that. Isn't that gorgeous? She is coming. I just messaged her. Oh, thanks, Mel. Isn't that awesome? Look at that background, you guys. She's in here. Oh. Jamie, nice job. It's so beautiful. I'll get you up real close to this so you guys can see that background shimmer. Look at that. Put the gold in there. Hey, Jamie, that card is awesome. Thank you so much. And look at her caterpillar. And she added a hat. I think that hat is from the Tim Holtz hat. So nice. So uh, Jamie, I'm assuming that hat came from the add-on from Tim Holt. So he has the crazy dog and cats, and he had this little set that had all these like accessories, like Santa's hat, witch's hat, and stuff. And it looks like it's that, which is a perfect fit for that caterpillar. And she's the wobble. Yep, she is a wobbler. Wobbler. That's Look. beautiful. Yeah, Tim Holt hat. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Look at that paper. Yep. And then Handmade with Love by Jamie. I don't know if you guys can see that. Isn't that cool? Crazy Things Set. That's what it is. Yes. Very cool. Thank you so much. That card is gorgeous. She even has the... Um, she used, Yeah. Thank you so much. That's Thank very, you, very man. sweet. That is nice. Um, we got this card from Brenda. Oh, okay. And... It says, congratulations to an awesome couple. So look at this, wedding bells. And it says, true love is not a gamble, even though it has no logic. True love is not a myth, even though it feels like magic. True love isn't always perfect, even though it seems like it. True love needs to be nurtured over the years, bit by bit. Congratulations, Sean and Ken, Brenda Weedman. And she definitely used her Cricut to write that's beautiful font. And then she has a picture of us when we were at um, uh, Chalk Couture's uh, convention. convention and it was a formal night. And so look at, I'll show you the outside again. And then look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Brenda, nice job. Yes, very pretty. All right, so I have um, some stuff I need to open up. I think this goes, yes, this goes with this. Um, so I'll show you guys those in one second. I have more stuff from you guys, viewer, but I do wanna show you. So one day, this is why Sean has a hard time buying stuff for me for Christmas. So I st I'm like Mel, and I don't feel like you should ever pay full price for anything if you don't have to. Because there's always going to be a sale. There's a coupon. I remember when Mel started her channel. Gosh, this was probably back before Cricut Explore. And her whole thing was kind of like crafting on a budget and sharing sales. And, you know, you shouldn't have to pay full price. And I feel the same way. Well, one day Sean got home and he said, Sean, I bought a Christmas gift for me. And then I was like, but you probably will like this too. So I'm buying it for both. And it was so funny. He's like, we don't need anything. And I was like, this stuff is 50% off. And he's like, I still don't know we need it. And I was like, Sean, do you remember when we did color pouring? And he was like, yes. I was like, it has to do with that. Buy it. Get it. I love that. So that's what I did. So you guys know I have a disease. I'm already telling you that right now. I cannot have just one item. So I may have went to Joann's when all this stuff was 50% off and bought the color pour. Now what's cool about this stuff, you guys, um, I'm trying to get to where the light doesn't hit, but this is by American Crafts and everything's already in there. You don't have to mix this with anything like normally you have to go buy the pouring medium and then mix in your colors this is already mixed in so i got i got everything i got black look at some of these colors this color i'll give it to sean um and he can show you once i do it so this that's black or yeah. onx onyx here's wine divine that's divine navy in the navy indigo Kind of light for indigo. Indigo should be a very dark blue. Well, maybe it is once we actually get in maybe. there. Gray. 
Yes, we'll probably do another pour. Oh yeah, we have a lot of pour now stuff, guys. Rose. I want to try that uh, strainer version where you put it, put it through a strainer. Yes. Let's come out really cool. Emerald. Natasha, you're watching, you're watching from the car? A great place to be watching. Look at that green, what are they called? Rose, it? that's uh, oh, emerald. Yeah, this one's called rose gold. A little hard to tell, but there is there's kind of a goldy, uh, gold kind of shimmer to it. Ruby. Ruby Tuesday. Forest green. Run, forest, run. Topaz. Every time I hear Topaz, uh, I think of the cutting edge and Topic. Okay. This was my uh, ex-stepmother's favorite uh, gem was Topaz. Turquoise. Native American beautiful list. Lime green. Uh, one of Kenny's favorite colors. Look at the brightness of that baby. Coral. <clears throat> Coral. Orange. Could you do a pour and then chalk over it? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why. I've seen people do it. Sapphire. Ooh, I love, that. I love that color. A little blue with some purple in it, basically. Citron? Citron. Citron? Sorry. Which is usually a lemon with a hint of yet green. Light lemon. pink. Pink, baby, pink. Baby, Light pink, blue. Pink. Amethyst. And then this one is just snow. And then we got all of their metallics. So they have a copper. Capa. Champagne. Champagne. Gold. Pour me a glass. Don't silver. Sucks though. Silver. Silver bell. Then we also got mixing. So these are pearl powders. Silver and gold. Pearl powders. I'll show you the edges on, on the three here. And then there's the other. And then these are pre-mixed gold foil paint. So you have all these foils. Mm -hmm. And then I even got the pour art tool set, which is this, and it comes with all of this amazingness. I got mixing cups. I got the Cell Magic, which he's super excited yeah, this for. Should be, this should help. It's probably just a silicone base. That's usually what helps make um, cells is silicone. And then we got um, Varnish. This is probably to cover so it hardens with a nice, there's a glossy and a prism. Glossy and prism uh, version. And then this is what talc powder, you put this on to varnish it. So here's the deal. Um, I literally, I feel bad for Sean because I literally told him, I was like, I think I want this. It was half off and then they had an extra 20% off coupon. So all of this, the entire color um, pour art from American Crafts was, are you ready for this? $141 is it. How much? 141 for all oh, of this. Geez, that's so that's why I was like, we can't let this can't, deal can't go by. No that, no. You can't say no to that. So yes, be excited to see in the new year some poor videos because yes, can't wait. I love finding something that Sean loves yeah. to do crafting. Chocolate did, tours. One of them. One, he so loved it. it was so he fun. loved it. In fact, sometimes I, I get rid of pieces of art. I'm like, let's give this to someone and he loves his poor art. We still have yeah. it hanging in my craft room. I'll go grab it while you put these in the box. It used to be. The only thing we did not do with this one um, is put a varnish on it so it's... And we uh, didn't put in cells. We, we didn't create cells, cells with no. it. So I'll put that in the box and Sean can show it off. He loves it. He loves his, his poor art. The only thing this does not have is that nice glossy look. Because we didn't varnish it. We didn't varnish it. But it's so it fun. Gorgeous. You never know what you're going to get. And I'm telling you what, every time he, meaning Sean, gets lost on Facebook... So if you watch a video on Facebook, I don't know if you guys know this. If you watch a video, it immediately starts another video. Yeah, look at that. It almost looks like lava. Yeah, it's so cool. Can you, can you see the bronze? We use bronze, right? Yep. See the bronze in that? So we, that's hard. all unicorn paint that we use. Yeah, we use unicorn spit. Um, unicorn spit. Um, so Sean gets lost when watching videos. Like, it'll be like, he watches a video. And so one day I was doing stuff on Chalk Tour, and he had his show paused, but he's watching his phone for like a half hour. And I was like, Sean, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm mesmerized. I was like, what? And he was like, this lady's done color pour through a colander. She's done it through a sink strainer. She's done it through this. I mean, he had all these things. He's like, we need to do more color pour. And we need to buy a colander. And we need to buy a sink strainer. And we need, I'm like, slow down. So when I saw the color pour half off, 
he was like, buy it. And I was like, well, is it a Christmas gift? And he was like, well, for both of us, sure, sure kind of. <laughs> sure, why not? So anyways, be looking forward to that. All right, guys, I'm gonna move on to some more stuff you guys sent. Oh, peacock, blue, purple, and yellow. Oh, Ooh, that'd be beautiful. Cool all right. So you guys all know I do Ken from the car. Yep. And um, it's so funny because Sean, literally when we go drive our car around, people comment all the time about, oh, there's turtles and Ewoks and are those your kids? And Sean's like, nope, that's his. One of these days it's gonna be broken into and they're gonna take them all. They will not. Yeah. So I got a note that says, Hi, Ken. I'm so sorry it took me months to send you the birthday present we got you at Disneyland. Um, I know, um, uh, I always say, I can never pronounce his name. Is it Hey, 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 Hey? The, the name of the chicken. It's like Hee Hee or something like that. I don't know. Um, is a rooster, but I thought it would be great for Ken from the car. Happy birthday, buddy, Jeff. And Jeff is... Miss Kate's husband, Ms. so Miss Kate Kate's Cuddles. Cuddles. And look at it's hee hee, right? Or hey hey. It's from uh, Moana. Oh, and it's the not. chicken that's always like bloop bloop and jumps in the water and they always pick it up and go bloop, boop, boop, boop. So he'll be in Ken from the car. Yay. Thanks, Jeff and Miss Kate. Which is hilarious. I think he got this because if you look up KFTC on Urban Dictionary, <laughs> not good. And I think that's could be where this came from. Could be. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. You're funny. All right, one more box to share with you guys. So this card, <laughs> wow. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. And that was handmade. Was it really? So it says, wishing you the most beautiful day. Dear Ken and Sean, hope you enjoy the goodies from Marilyn Love, Tamara Wolf, oh. and Garrett. And look at this. This card is handmade, guys. And there she is right there. Look at Tamara this Thanks, card. Well, that's pretty awesome. Look at the... Gold. And then look at it from the side. You can see the dimension. It gives it... Um, look at that. That card is absolutely... I'm going to try to get as close as I can get. You can see the gold come off of it. That's look awesome. at that. Nice job. When I saw this, I thought this was a store bought card. Nope, it's not. Handmade. See? But look at that. That is gorgeous gorgeous and even the owls have the gold look at that so she sent us a box so thank you very much which means you guys get the very bonus of being here and taste test, taste test. so she sent us a box of goodies so we're gonna thumb through them and kind of take a peek at some of these tastes from maryland oh she even gave us notes on every single Ooh, one of nice. them so this grandma's utz's Oots, Sean it, can oots. show this and I'll read it. It says oots, which I know what oots, oots, oots are because oots. we have oots here. Do we? Yeah. Oots is a very popular regional chip company. People have them shipped to them if they can, can't can get them locally. The oots we have here is, um, where's your phone? Do you have your phone? I do. Um, we have, I want to say it's the pretzels. Let me look really quick though. Oots. I get over this? Yeah. So the, what we, what I know Oots for is. Mmm, smell that potato. This is what I know them for is cheese balls. Oots mm. cheese balls. Mm. Oh, it's. Uts. Uts, okay. Like, I don't know. All I know is I know them for cheese balls. Mm. And these, wait, I was gonna oh, wait and we were gonna explain what it is, but Sean already opened them. These are hand cooked potato chips. Nice. Mm. Oh, they're like um, crunchy too. They're like um, Tim's Cascade. Tim Cascade is a, mm. a Northwest style potato chip company here. Mmm. That. Very oh, crispy. it's really good and salty. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Oh, I like those. Thank you. That's nice. That's it. Uh. uh yeah, I'm not gonna try these. No Maybe crisp. I will smell them. So this says no crabs died to make these chips. These are the crab chip. These are with Chesica, Ches, Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay, Bay crab seasoning. Oh, Chesapeake Bay, yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, I will, Tamara, I don't know what you're trying to do to me. <laughs> I will smell them <clears throat> and see if I'm brave enough. Oh, 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 oh God. Ooh. Oh, smells like Old Bay. Oh, oh, oh. Do they taste seafoodish? 
Are you lying to me, I McCoy? I don't think there's a... You can taste the Old Bay on it. Mmm. There is no, there is no flavor of that. It's just an, the old bay seasoning. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Not seafood at all. It's, you're right. It's the yeah, crab old, seasoning. Old oh my good. gosh, these are good. Mmm. Good. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh wait, no. No wait, what? What? There is no crab. It's just the seasoning. Oh, like, I'm sorry. What happened? Mm. Spicy? I don't know. Mm. That was good. Thank you. From... I don't know about those. Jasmine I like... and I'm from Jiminy. I liked them in the beginning, and then it turned. <gasps> These are my favorite. He loves those. <gasps> wow. We have these in Spokane, and they also make them in... Come in this length. Whoa. Calm down now, Sean. You don't need to be telling people what length. Um, but in Spokane, they have caramel apple version, and they have strawberry vanilla. So if you guys, I'm sure everyone may have seen these. These are called cowtails. Cow and here, yeah, here they are. See, they have... These are the ones they have up here. I've never tried the chocolate. But they have caramel <laughs> apple. <laughs> Chocolate and strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite, yeah. followed by caramel apple, and then these are a good third because these are their their original vanilla. Um, what? Miss Kabicki. Hi, Miss Jessica. She says that she doesn't like Gold Bay too, and she's from Maryland, so that's like a sin. It is. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. So love, I yeah. love cowtails, and then these are made by the um, uh, same company, and they're. Kind of the same thing. Now they also make these in different flavors. I don't know if you knew that. They make them in like a strawberry, a caramel apple. I love these. These are so good. I could eat these all day long. Mm. Mm. He doesn't like the caramel apple one as much. I don't know why. Why don't you like the caramel apple one? Because it's not true caramel apple. Well, of course, it's candy, Sean. Oh, all right. Oh. Woo! Ooh, what's that? Okay, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say this, it's gonna sound bad, but I literally would buy anything that its name is literally Hards. Dear God. <gasps> Jessica, allergic to lobster, I'm sorry. <laughs> can, you pick me, can you pick me up a package of Hards? <laughs> How do you uh, like how do you like your pretzels? Hard? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Or hard. Yeah, watch out. Wow. Mmm, I love pretzel. Oh, that's punching my head. Wow. Those are hard. How do you say that, Woods? Uts, like putts. You putz. Don't call me a putz. I'm not calling you the putz. That's how you can You need to dye it. your goatee. Oh, no. You're kind of looking like a young Santa. Oh, dear God. You got the gray coming in. You got the little ho, 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 belly. Mm. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. No need to uh, do that. Broke teeth on those. No kidding, Judy. <laughs> oh, my God. A little mm. hard. So, JF99 says, what is Old Bay? Old Bay is a seasoning that's used in... High yeah, horse. In, in, in like... Uh, High horse. Yes. In, in seasonings of uh, crab. There it is, right there. That's, yeah. that's it, right there. Sean, this stuff is amazing on fries, corn on the cob, just yeah. about anything. This okay, stuff. I need we to get, get past... We can get that here too, but it's you don't see it often here. That's but the thing. But I'm going to have to get past the fact that it's used on crab, because that's what it is. It, it, it's, it, it, see, it's made yeah, for mm -hmm. seafood. I know, I know, but it just... The whole crab thing... Kind of, you know. There it is. Oh my God. What amazingness is this? Oh yeah, and tuna. I bet that'd be great in my Okay, Sean. Tuna sandwich. Open your mouth. Close <coughs> your eyes. Uh -oh. In comes the big surprise. Open your mouth. Bite. Oh mm. my oh, God. 
No, oh my God, what is this? Wow. Oh, those are mine. Mm. These are called burger cookies. Chocolate creams, They. she's wrote, melt in your mouth, fudge frosted bits of pure bliss. Yeah, you guys, nice. look at these. Wow. Oh those my gosh, like they're these, they're from heaven. Oh, wow. They're so soft. Are these, um, they almost look like a, um, what's the, what's that cookie that's got kind of like a shell on the back? A turtle? No, no, you know, uh, you, they have a, uh, a sheet thing for cookies and they're oblong. And they Milano. Got, no. Petro Rich Bars. No. You guys know what it is. Oh, so, so good, you guys, look at that. Mmm. Oh, they're so soft. Here, mm. that's so soft. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that's mm. so... Madeline, so, yes, thank you. So... Oh Madeline's, yeah, Madeline. Mm -hmm. that, that cookie kind of reminds me of this thing. Almost reminds wow. Me. And you know what? She sent this box almost a week ago. <laughs> How are these so soft? <laughs> Way to go, Shamira. Shamira, go Shamira. Why she, are we saying that? She sneaks this into Red Lobster. <laughs> Shamira, good for you. That is no, mm. no Shamira, no. Oh, I can't wait to open this up and put some stuff on it. Oh. Mm, um, yum, yum, Spoon yum. shake or open up the bag thing. Just like... Well, there you are, guys. So to everyone. Wow. Um, thank you to everyone who sent us and, stuff. And That's by the way, me. Hey, hey. What? H A I. -H -A -I. Hey, hey, that's hey, right. Hey. Here, I watched Moana the first time and I didn't like it, but I was preoccupied doing something. And then I watched it the second time on a plane and I fell in love with it. The ending is so good. It's not as good as Frozen's ending, but it's still pretty good. Um, so yeah. Uh, so thank you to everyone who yeah, sends us stuff. It much. is, be first of all, it's beyond sweet that people actually take time out of their day. Um, it will always remind me now every time. So I have two stories for you. Okay, so first story is, um, and I think Jessica's here, but I've always had my address on my videos, and no one's ever sent us stuff till about about two years ago, and we started getting stuff, and and the last year we've gotten a lot of stuff, and so one day she just texted me and she was like, Ken, do you know your address is in the bottom of your video? Mm -hmm. And I was like, Jessica, it has been there for two years, and you're just now noticing it, which <laughs> kind of told me that nobody reads our descriptions, but then number two, she was like, what if someone like comes to your house and kills you. And I was like, um, I have go. three ferocious golden retrievers <laughs> that will lick them to death. But this leads to another story because it's still on there. Jasmine, who's my assistant, you guys might've saw last week, someone left a not so positive comment on my video. And I'm a firm believer in not deleting those that I want to show people, you can delete comments. I can delete a negative comment, but I usually leave them up and I will respond to them because I want people to know that I'm unbiased. So if you think that I'm just promoting something to promote it, and if I did delete a comment, that is showing that I'm biased. So I'd rather have people say something rude back and I'll comment back and stuff. Um, and the comment came through and I left it up. And normally I just leave it alone, but um, on my Keurig video especially, I get really, there's horrible comments on that. Go read those comments, those are fun. But this comment um, was from someone. And so I just kind of said, you know, my whole point was we need to kill this person with kindness. Go and kill them with kindness and say, you know, like good things to them, which a lot of people did. Thank you so much. The person ended up deleting the comment because every time someone replies to your comment on YouTube, you get an email with what they responded to. Um, so they ended up deleting it. And then I, of course, deleted my post. But after that all happened, Jasmine, who's a little, maybe a scotch protective of me, um, literally was like sending me screenshots of this guy. <laughs> I don't even know what she'd think. She's like, I'm afraid you're going to get a bomb in the mail. You need a PO box. What if someone sends you a bomb? And I was like, um, first of all, most of the boxes that come have already done in them. Second of all, if I don't know the name or if it spells where I, oh, I forgot something. You did? Yes, it's upstairs. I, I have no, it's I have no idea what right it is. Back, Let's see if I can read, get through what everybody was talking about. I'm sorry, this stuff is so small I can barely read it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They put all on fry stands. 
Colonels, that's funny. Yes, Melody, you are so true. They definitely need some positive loving in their lives. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna back up and see if I missed anything. Old Bay in your blood. Yay, way to go, Trudy. Oh, okay. Have you guys I tried- I almost forgot this. Have you tried coffee milk? Okay, ready? We have one more thing, Sean. Oh. I almost forgot about it. Oh. I knew it was upstairs and on my kitchen table. So, first of all, we got this. It's not a ring. So, it says, here's the card, let's open it. When did this come in? Um, I don't know. Oh, so, no. it's got a little kitty with a hat. Whoa. Oh, so okay, cool. hunker down. Hi, Ken and Sean. Ken, I have watched you, your YouTube channel since way back in the day, but have never communicated. Since we've spent many nights together, I thought I should introduce myself. Otherwise, a face kind of like a voyeur. After all these years, I have a lot to say. One, Ken, you cracked me up. I love your laugh. Two, just because you like to have fun, fun or be goofy doesn't mean you are not talented. If your heart... What is that? If your heart... Probably. Oh, if, if basically, if, if, you, if people don't like you, they wouldn't watch. Three, I learn something every time I watch a video with you. It's amazing. I love that you're genuine. People who act like all their props are perfect and easy. I don't think so. To me, it's helpful when you make a mistake and what, show us what to do. I love, love Ken from the car, exclamation point. Yes. It really Ill irritates me when people criticize you. First of all, if you don't like it, change the channel. Second, you can't be everything to everyone. There are too many Where are you? Uh, other channels out there that they can watch if they don't like what you are. You have to do what you makes, makes you feel the best. It's your YouTube channel. You just want to share it with the camera. It's your channel. Seven. I know you work really hard. I know what it takes to organize projects and you're in a business that's ever changing. I'm so glad how you keep our, I'm not sure how you keep up with it, all the new stuff. Lastly, Ken, I saw this Lego keychain in Target and felt you must have it. Sean, I put together this frame for either just your doggy person, a pick of all of you. Keep up the great work. P.S. Would love to meet you too. P.P.S. I love Depop too, not just kittens. Oh, I love um, dogs, not just kittens. So I love dogs too. And it's Jana. Oh, that Thanks, was so Jana. sweet. So let's see what she... Oh, look at this. She did. She gave me a Lego keychain. Oh, that's cool. And then this is for Sean. Let's see what she got, Sean. A frame. Oh, uh-oh. Permit fell. We'll find you in oh yeah, you can see where it's attached. I can reattach okay. it. She got you a frame. Family oh. is the essence that helps define our very identity, devotion, crying, sharing, warmth, love, belonging, laughter, and smiles, caring. Family means believing. And so what she did is she took a family frame and she actually put little doggy paws on it. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Look at this. Look at how much she wrote to us. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, uh, for that and it's Janice I want to say Janice maybe you're in here Janice are you in here if not um E-A-N E-A-M or E-A-R um, so here's the deal um if you watch my channel from the cars depending on if I'm having a good day or a bad day <laughs> uh it's interesting the YouTube world is changing um it used to be very edited and voiceover videos and now it's kind of changing to this live world and so many times um you find yourself saying well gosh maybe this isn't working maybe i need to change directions maybe i need to do this especially ken from the car because ken from the car really was born out of i had to do a video i couldn't do it so i just Ran to the car because you couldn't do it anywhere else. I ran to the car and just did it. And then I stopped doing them and people were like, when are you bringing back your car videos? And I was like, what car videos? They're like, the ones where you, and one lady says, the one that you just said, it's like, you know, you're, you're live from the car. You're like a Ken from the car. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I should do a video series. <laughs> Not thinking I was. And Sean's like, you should. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to sit in my car and talk to the camera. And he was like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, nobody's going to watch that, Sean. <laughs> and yet it's usually the most 
viewed and videos we went we to my old bank that I used to work at. We did an event for them, and they're like, "Are you still doing those videos from the car?" <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you for those words. It means so much to to me. But I think. When you do this, you do overthink things and think, oh gosh, what, you know, what if they don't like this or what if people don't like this? And probably the best advice I got from, and I've told this story so many times, I got from Ali, Sean, and Melody, all three, right around the same time it was weird. I was doing all these edited videos and voiceovers and um, we went back and saw Mel and Cross by Two in New York. Mm -hmm. So she really got to see the true authentic me. Yeah. To which she was like, I think she asked on it, is he always like this? And you're like, yes, the yes. Ken you see isn't the Ken. And even people at the event were like, why don't we ever see this Ken? And I was like, I don't know. And I, when I got back, Mel was like, you need to be more like that on your videos. Mm -hmm. And I was petrified. I thought it was going to ruin my channel. I thought people were going to unsubscribe. I thought people would leave in droves. And so I was, I was scared to death to do that. And now I do it and I don't do any edited videos. <laughs> But seriously, it was probably the best advice I took because it truly mm -hmm. made me happier, focused on what we got to do. And yeah. the most important thing is, was the fact that you guys, you guys, um, watch, but also too, that Sean became part of it because before that Sean was always behind the camera. He wasn't connecting with anyone. He didn't really know the Ken world. So by him doing videos, it literally made him part of the brand. So it's so funny now because when I do go to events, it's always the first question is, where's Sean? Why is Sean not here? Where's Sean? And it's not like that people aren't happy to see me, but it's just, you, you're part of it you're now. Right. You're a part of this brand. And thank you. As long as he's by me, he can't do it on his own. I've, I've one time, I don't know if you guys <laughs> know this, one time he did a video by himself. I was sicker than a dog and I said, Sean, I have to do this video. Here's the card you're creating. Super easy card and you're gonna go live. And he was like, where are you gonna be? I'm like, I'm gonna be sleeping on the couch. And he's like, N no. And you did it. It's still up, people can go watch it. Mm -hmm. He created the card all by himself. I did. I was very proud of you. It was scary. It was scary. So anyways, thank you so much. I almost, I'm so glad I didn't forget about that. Um, that is beyond sweet of you. So oh, love the Sean in camera. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, it was good. It was it was a cute little card. It was like a card with little. You took um, twine and put the twine down and made washi tape little flags. Mm -hmm. I found a card that I knew would be easy for him to make, and he did a great job. I actually gave it away to someone. Someone wanted it because it was like a super rare thing that Sean made a card. So so uh, that card everyone wanted. <laughs> Um, are you guys going to do some Christmas cooking this year? We are, Lisa. In fact, after this video, we are going to go shop for all of our supplies, which yes. is literally usually hundreds of dollars. For those of you who do not bake, if someone gives you baked goods, be very thankful because it is expensive to bake. Yes, we yes. spend about two to three hundred dollars on baked goods. We do make a lot of box boxes. Um, but I don't think people realize how expensive it is to bake. But we will be doing that. We probably will be going live possibly Sunday, starting on Sunday, because tomorrow we have our sock party with our family. And if you don't know what a sock party is, we have stockings that normally people open on Christmas morning from Santa, but our family um, gets together a week before Christmas and we just, it's a reason to get together, I guess, um, and have fun. So we have that tomorrow. I have my Patreon hangout tomorrow. So if you're a Patreon, um, 12.30 tomorrow, our time. So Pacific time, uh, it will be an hour long Patreon with me and Sean, uh, maybe a little bit longer. I'll be getting everyone that link. Um, and then Sunday, I think we're going to start baking. It'll be Sunday and all next week because then it's Christmas right after that. What, we're 10 days away from Christmas? Well, today is the 14th. And how many gifts have you bought? I bought some already. Bought he doesn't some. have to do any other shopping besides me. That's it. I do everything else. It all. Yeah, you just do it all on the computer, though. So it's boom, boom, boom. Well, most of it is. Isn't it? Did you hear that? Oh, well... <laughs> I know you do everything and create beautiful, magical Christmas memories and decorate the house and plan all of that, do all the baking. But I mean, you do all of your shopping online. Here's another story. I tried to go out and shop in the real world, okay? Because I was like, you know what? Everyone has a point. Amazon's ruining Christmas because all we do is sit at home and do Amazon. So we went out and we went to looking for a gift for Sean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different places, me and Jasmine. No bueno. We couldn't find it, number one. I understand 
people, I used to work retail, so I get it. But something about this year, retail people are not happy. We went yesterday to Joanne's. The lady goes, I can help you literally with scanning your items like this. I don't know. She must have called out. And then she looks over to the phone. She's like, yep, yeah, it's just us. Didn't say a word to me and Sean. You could tell she was not happy. Even like, she was like, you want a bag? Do you need a bag for this? Like, she was just so snappy with us. And I was like, I have a coupon. Like, it was just, and I even told Sean, I was like, she was not happy. And Sean was like, well, I think they might be shorthanded or something. But it's just like, it was not a fun experience. So that's why I like shopping on Amazon. It's different, isn't it? Um, it's not different. It's wonderful. <laughs> I know it's probably going to put everyone else out of business and we're going to be like in Wally, -E where that one company owns everything. But <laughs> I I can get it all done. You're getting the best price. You get it in two days. Typically. Typically. I, I, I hate to say it, but it's true. Mm -hmm. I buy most of my stuff crafting Cricut, so I don't have to really go anywhere for that. And some of our stuff in the next couple of years will be same day. Well, we have a we they're have a building, plan. they're yeah. building a facility out here. But I did send Sean to certain places that he can't get on the Amazon, which I don't have faith I'll get. So I'll probably need that for a birthday because I want this a massive kit. It's nine hundred dollars, but I told them they'll go half off, and it is the complete Bob Ross painting kit. His easel, his little palette, all of his paints, all of his brushes, and today. then you go to this exclusive YouTube channel where you get to follow all the videos. And I want it so bad because after I've done one Bob Ross painting following the way he instructed, and it's I saw, amazing. I saw it. It's I'm, amazing I, I how good it is. Paint that. I said, there's no way you painted that. I did. Yeah, did. I did paint that. Very, very so anyways, good. I want to do that. So that's one of the kit things I want. Just too bad he couldn't bring it home. Yeah, I couldn't because it was oil paint. Oil and oil doesn't dry very quick. No. It no. takes weeks for yeah. that stuff to dry. But if oh. if I do get that, we could start a whole like channel, like Paint with Ken, and we all paint Bob Ross paintings together in chat. It would be so much fun. So anyways, that was one of the big items I wanted. Maria's, Maria's going to Disneyland tomorrow. Ooh. We want to go to Disneyland when Star Wars Land opens, yeah. and I want to go to Disney World, and that will be cheap because we're just going to stay at Mel's house. We're just going to stay at Mel's. Yeah, and then she can drive us to Disneyland every day. Yeah. Or Disney World. And she can come in too. I'm of not course. saying she can't come in, but we might even stay for three weeks. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to you about that, Mel. <laughs> yeah. We'll be kind of a long permanent house guest for a little bit. Um, when does it open? The Amazon's not till next year because it's a huge warehouse. I think they're breaking ground this spring once yeah. the winter's over. And it's just a, a gargantuan warehouse like all the other ones, but yeah. Gargantuan? Is that yeah. a word? I it's, don't think that's a is, word. It's a word. It's and, not... it's, and it's literally from where we live to where it's going to be is probably 15 minutes away. Because the airport's right there on the other side of the highway. And come here. Riley. Riley, come here. Riley. Riley, come on. Up, up. Riley. Riley. There she goes. There you go. Say hi to everyone, so it's Rob. Gonna be, it's going to be kind of cool. Hey, hi. Secret, hi. Got, Secret Santa got me an Arcuda watercolor set I'm really wanting to try. Ooh, Ooh you'll I, love that. I love that. Here. Star Wars in, in, uh, Cal and the California one will be next. <laughs> You didn't like that pretzel? May or June. Look at this. May Sean, watch. Watch. And, oh, she ate that one. The other one, she was, eh. <laughs> Too much for her. I was expecting it. You're such a good girl. No, none of our dogs, she is not expecting. No. She hasn't hit her. She can, she can win her next heat cycle if we want to, but it's a lot of work, you guys. Oh, my God. Who and she's time? just so widow. I don't know if she can, can have, have babies. That's chocolate. Not chocolate for Not babies. Not for the babies. Okay, say goodbye to everyone. Say thank you for our viewer mail. Hey, right to everybody. Here. Right over here. And say goodbye. Miss Kabiki, I don't think we're going to get a P.O. box. Off, box, office box. We are eventually. Are we? I oh, need well, I to. Guess, I guess we will. I need to because everyone uh, keeps telling me I'm going to get murdered or bombed or anthrax or who knows. I don't know. So I'm supposed to get one. So Yeah, there you go. Oh, my gosh. She's such a kisser. All right, guys. I will see you guys. Um... We'll probably be live Sunday doing a big good show. Uh, for those patrons, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who sent us stuff. It is beyond sweet of you. We are very appreciative. And yes, I did see the comment about the cream sodas in the mail. So super excited. I'm a cream soda junkie. Yeah, so bye, everyone. Bye. Where's our end? <laughs> Let's see how long it takes them to figure it out. Right up there. Uh, yes, end.